Well, right now, two South Bend families are searching for answers after a man and woman died in a weekend house fire. They may have to wait a while. WSBT's Kelly Stepsinski is at the live desk right now. And Kelly, the fire is still being investigated as a possible arson. And Rick, a pathologist has not been able to rule the deaths homicides or accidental. Metro Homicide Commander Tim Corbett tells me that's because investigators still aren't sure what they're dealing with. It just don't make any sense to me. Family members say they know few facts. Angie Williams and George Bailey were friends. They died inside Bailey's house on Kenwood Avenue when it burned early Saturday morning. That wasn't called for, whatever, whatever did happen. Metro Homicide opened an investigation right away, saying detectives suspected arson and someone may have killed Williams and Bailey. It's not fair. It's not fair for her to go out that way. The coroner says both died from smoke and soot inhalation and burns. But that's where the answers stop. And questions begin for Bailey's nephew, who lives across the street. I know how bad the fire was that I don't care if how drunk you was or you would, that would get your attention. And if some fire, some burning on your skin, I know you'll feel it. And it's just like, why was he able to get up or try to run to a window or was he unconscious already before it happened? She was my heart. She was my everything. Relatives on both sides say rumors are flying in this close-knit neighborhood. This was intentionally done. Let's want them off the street. I really don't really know what to believe. It's just, just waiting on the truth, really. And whoever did it, if you got a heart, you know, just it, turn yourself in. You know, I know you was her friend, you know, because she was friends. They was both friends with everybody. So whoever did is, you know y'all, we know you know them, and we know y'all know exactly what happened. So just, take, just, just give us closure and give y'all self-closure. At this point, the fire, the cause of the fire has been ruled undetermined, meaning investigators either don't know or aren't saying how it started. Metro Homicide is still interviewing people about the case. This is an active investigation still, but Corbett could not give me a timeline on how long it might take to get those answers the families are looking for. If you know what happened, call Crime Stoppers at 288-STOP. At the Live Desk, I'm Kelly Stopsinski, WSBT Channel 22 News.